Hi. Welcome to PH Red TV. In today's video, we'll discuss about five of the deadliest earthquakes in Philippine history. But before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon for more interesting videos to be uploaded soon. Natural phenomena such as an earthquake in the Philippines always catch us off guard. 7.2 magnitude quake that hit central Visayas in 2013 is no exception. With over 150 casualties and an astonishing number of damaged historical churches, earthquake that hit Visayan provinces is one of our history's strongest. In fact, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, FIVOLX, Director Solomon, said that its impact is almost equivalent to 32 Hiroshima bombs. What causes earthquakes? Earthquake is formed when plates underneath the Earth's surface move in different directions. These plates often form friction between each other in areas called faults. Once the impact of the collision becomes significant, it sends a signal on an outward friction commonly known as seismic waves. Depending on the intensity, earthquakes may cause minor disruption or significant damage. Here are five of the strongest earthquakes that caused major destruction in the Philippines. Number 5. Bohol Earthquake. 15 October 2013, a strong earthquake measuring 7.2 on the Richter scale shook Philippines. The epicenter was located in the island province of Bohol in central Visayas, but was felt as far as southern Mindanao. The earthquake affected over 1.2 million people. 222 people died, 195 in Bohol, 976 were injured and 8 people missing. Over 79,000 structures including homes, roads, churches, schools and public buildings were damaged, of which 14,500 were totally destroyed, resulting in over 340,000 displaced people. Number 4. Mindoro Earthquake The 1994 Mindoro Earthquake occurred at 3 p.m. on November 15. It had a moment magnitude of 7.1 and a maximum Mercalli intensity of 7, classified as very strong. 78 people were reported dead, and 7,566 houses were damaged. This earthquake generated a tsunami and landslides in Verde Island. The epicenter of this earthquake was located in the Verde Island Passage, a strait separating Luzon and Mindoro. Affected by the tsunami were coastal areas in Baco and Calapan, Oriental Mindoro. At least 1,530 houses, out of 7,566 damage, were washed away. Number 3. Kasiguran Earthquake On August 2, 1968, an earthquake with an intensity 8 in the Rossi Foral intensity rocked the town of Kasiguran Aurora. 270 persons were killed and 261 were injured as a result of earthquake. A six-story building Ruby Tower Manila collapsed instantly during the quake. Several major buildings nearby sustained varying levels of structural damages. Number 2. Luzon Earthquake The 1990 earthquake occurred at 4.26 p.m., and the shaking lasted for about 45 seconds. The earthquake hit northern and central Luzon. Its epicenter pinpointed at Nueva Ecija. With the most affected areas are the cities of Baguio, Cabanatuan and Dagopan. Baguio suffered extensive damage to its buildings. 
structures including Hyatt Terraces. Also Nevada Hotel, Baguio Hilltop, FRB, and Baguio Park Hotel were reduced to rubble and many people were buried alive. It was estimated that the earthquake left a staggering $369 US million of damage in its wake. Number 1. Moro Gulf Earthquake. A few minutes after the last stroke of midnight on August 17, 1976, a violent earthquake occurred in the island of Mindanao, spawning a tsunami that devastated more than 700 kilometers of coastline bordering Moro Gulf in the North Celeb Sea. This offshore event generated by Cotabato Trench, a less prominent trench system, was the largest tsunamogenic earthquake to have occurred in Mindanao in last two decades. Without warning, about two to five minutes after the earthquake struck, waves as high as nine meters reached the shore and inundated communities along the Moro Gulf. About 8,000 people died, including those missing and were never found, making it the most disastrous tsunami to hit Philippines. While the earthquake caused fire and some buildings to collapse, the tsunami caused most of the damage. The major cause of the great number of casualties during the event could be attributed to the fact that 1. The tremor happened just after midnight when most people were sleeping. 2. A great tsunami was spawned, struck the coasts from different directions, caught people unaware. Those are the five most destructive earthquakes in the Philippine history. Thank you for watching. See you again soon here at PH Red TV.